The Zanu PF Patriots have just report been broken into and perform investigations so the zrp has indicated in a press that the investigations into the issue of the break-ins that happened at uh, tonga mnangagwa's uh, offices so the letter reads break-in at honorable tonga mnangagwa's office the Zimbabwe republic police confirms that investigations are being conducted in connection with a report of alleged break-in at the office of deputy minister of tourism and uh hospital Hospitality industry, Honorable Tonga Munangagwa in Harare between 5th and 8th July 2024. And this is uh, Paul Tempanyati already signing here, uh, right? So uh, we are seeing that uh, police in Zimbabwe are confirming that something happened uh, between the 5th and the 8th of uh, July, uh, right at the offices of Tonga Munangagwa. So looking at what we are, uh, we've been talking about, the issue of the ZANU-PF inside job and uh, the factionalism in ZANU-PF, uh, we should just think that uh, this is just going to end up being a, a dead end at the end of the day because uh, one way or the other, headers are going to be thrown uh, along the route of the police in their bid to try and find out what exactly has transpired. Well, I, I don't believe that we will ever get anything, any prosecution or any sus suspects that could the, uh, that could get uh, you know apprehended at the end of the day because this uh, continues to look like a very organized inside uh, crime because even what happened at uh, the house of Kudamnangagwa up to this day we still haven't heard of any arrests or any suspects that could have been taken in police custody maybe even for just questioning that already is an indicator that uh, we have an inside job being done from ZANU PF. So uh, this is a confirmation that this is happening and uh, whether the police are still going to be uh, getting uh, details of what really transpired, what these people did, uh, I don't think that is going to happen because already we are seeing the letter is just indicated uh, to that effect uh, without giving much information of what really are. Uh, could have transpired if this entered the offices what was missing what did they take uh what actions were uh, took place right inside the office but uh i know we know uh that for security reasons and also for the uh, you know propaganda reasons they may not end up uh, disclosing exactly what transpired there though so this is a very uh, very interesting when we continue to look at uh, how the pressure is mounting on uh, emerson Mnangagwa and his family uh, so that he can go out of the way. Like we have always been saying that the pressure is coming on Mnangagwa to go because of the fires that are that have broke out uh, in line with the 2030 agenda. And the 2030 agenda, no matter how popular it can be amongst the people around Emerson Mnangagwa, uh, this agenda is not popular with uh, other factions of ZANPF, including uh, the military and also the War Veterans Association, and uh, quite a lot of battle is happening within the War Veterans Association. Uh, we, have to, we have talked about it on uh, many of the shows where Mnangagwa has finally stopped the Congress, uh, or rather the con conference that was supposed to be done, elective conference that was supposed to be done by the War Veterans Association. And uh, also some information that we are getting is that Jablani Spanda, uh, who happens to be the chairperson of the Blois province uh, for the War Veterans, is uh, is, is, is facing the X. A letter has been written uh, uh, of uh, no confidence in him. So these are some of the factional fights that are happening right inside ZANU PF. And uh, knowing it as we do, we know that uh, Jablani has been quite a, a very uh, strong ally and confidant of Emerson Mnangagwa. So probably this could be the reason why now he is being fought to leave uh, that seat. Uh, before the Congress comes. So more and more continues to happen and we are looking and watching at uh, the unfolding of events that are leading to the total downfall of Emerson Nangagwa. But what we do know is that uh, there is a uh, uh, intrigue right inside the very uh, liberation party that used to appear like very united. But now Nangagwa, knowing him as we do, like I always say it, 
uh, family that Mnangagwa, uh, he has cursed hands. Whatever that he touches, it does not prosper. It breaks down. And Zanu PF cannot be spared from the hands, the cursed the hands of Emerson Mnangagwa. Whatever the, that he administers, he sits over, it is never going to prosper. And that we have known uh, ever since history uh, of Emerson Mnangagwa. For those of us that know him for a very, very long time and have uh, been somewhat coming closer and closer to him and uh, knowing events that have been happening around him for a very long time, we know what we are talking about. And uh, this is why I was talking to somebody a few days ago and I was hinting to this individual that uh, I spoke to many people during the time that Mnangagwa was, uh, you know, beginning to look like he's coming back to take over the presidency. And I said uh, to quite a number of people, guys, let us be careful because we know this gentleman. We know what this man is able to do. We know what he's capable of doing. And we have known his history. His history is tainted. It is a bloody history. And may uh, we wish that uh, this guy does not uh, finally come sit at the seat of the presidency and me oh no let's give him a chance and what what but of course i do understand why people did that it is all because uh, you know people just wanted change people just wanted uh, somebody else different from gabe with the hope that uh, that individual would come and uh, at least do better than mugabe even if they were going to be bad but they were not going to be as bad as robert mugabe but now uh, only today, people are beginning to realize that it was much better under Mugabe. The economy was much better. The prices on the shelves were much better. And um, even, even the dictatorship uh, part of Mugabe was at least some reasonable. And courts also were not as captured as courts are today. So it has been the worst ever since. Uh, and this is the legacy that Mnangagwa wants to leave behind. A legacy that is tainted with a lot of rot, a lot of corruption, a lot of nip Potism, a lot of lies, deception, murders, incarcerations, disappearances, abductions, and all the like. And that on its own is a bad record for a man. But does he care? He does not care at all. He thinks about his stomach. He thinks about himself. He never thinks about other generations, the children and his children's children that are coming, how his current um, uh, uh, behavior and activities are going to come back to hound. Uh, members of his family for a very, very long time to come. But uh, he doesn't even think about it as long as he himself is fine and uh, as long as he's amassing wealth that we don't even know when he wants to enjoy the world because he wants to continue working, waking up early in the morning at 87, 88, instead of being relaxed somewhere, you know, just waiting for waiters to bring you food while you are sleeping by the poolside and, you know, telling yourself that, you know, I'm um, uh, uh, enjoying my my holy my, my my retirement but is mnangagwa ever going to re enjoy retirement he won't uh he won't enjoy even if he were to leave in 2028 it is too late for him i don't think he will ever survive for the coming th two three years or so we are not going to be having mnangagwa for very long i've been saying this uh for a very long time let alone if he's disposed deposed out of power it is going to be even worse. He won't even long uh, live longer. And you saw what happened to Mugabe. But at least with Mugabe, it was better because uh, his age was fairly advanced. But uh, Nangawa is also going the same fate, uh, the same situation. What he has sown is what is going to reap in this season. So this is what is happening, family. They finally, uh, you know acknowledged that there was a break in police have also acknowledged that they are beginning investigation so let's watch and see how far this is going to get to whether indeed there is something tangible that will come out of these uh, investigations or they will remain investigations 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 and they will just die a natural death thank you so much family love you so much for supporting the platform of the freedom of zimbabwean people god is in it and freedom is coming remember as always subscribe like and share